Hey guys, what's up? What's going on, guys? This episode is Cruise Fly Through There. So today we'll be um, showing you guys another one of my Pokemon cards um, and a series of Pokemon cards. So uh, we're back with a series showing you guys a Pokemon, card, Pokemon that you guys picked. Um, well, the first, this is, I guess, the second episode. The first episode was Lucario because I picked it. But this is actually left by a commenter, a subscriber, I'm guessing, um, for dialga so dialga is a pretty badass fucking pokemon um he's a legendary um and uh he's just a really cool card i do really like him i think his design is really really nice and really neat uh but turns out i don't actually have that many dialga cards i will show you guys everything that i do have of him and actually i wanted to add something to the series so i don't want to just have show you guys everything that i have for the of every card that i have from that specific pokemon but i want to add to it so i won't just be doing that i also be showing you buying one card of that specific pokemon adding it to my collection now sometimes that means it'll be like a cheap one dollar card like a holographic sometimes it'll be a nice cool card um i picked that about i don't know a decently expensive card he's not actually that crazy cheap um it's kind of a expensive-ish card um, for just a regular card, but we'll show you guys that at the end. So we'll actually start with the actual cards here. Um, and I don't have that many of them. So we do have a nice Japanese Dialga there. Um, really nice card. Um, don't have this in English. Um, so it's a pretty cool card. Um, weird that I don't have any uh, this card in English or whatever, but I'm not entirely sure what set this is from. Uh, but it's a really cool card. Um, and I believe this is the origin form Dialga, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I believe so, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, I do actually have a Dialga GX. I believe I must have pulled this at some point or another. Uh, because I don't buy GX cards like ever. But yeah, that, that's a pretty interesting one there as well. We do have the origin form Diago V. This is a uh, promo that came with like an actual uh, whole entire box that Diago had. And of course, it included the this one as well. It came with the V-Star and it came as well with the big version of the actual card. So really, really cool. So, um, but yeah, this is a pretty nice uh, card. I, I think it's a nice one. I don't know where the origin form thing comes from. I, I don't know. I don't get it. I like the attack. It is a V-Stars. V-Stars are pretty cool. And I actually do really like this um, this artwork for Dialga. Um, Dialga, again, is just a neat-looking guy, I think. Uh, and it does look pretty dis different from the, I guess, the original Dialga. It looks, uh, like, different, of course, because it's a, a weird form of the Dialga. But, um, yeah, I think you can pretty much tell here from the head there. This looks like he has a lot, like, armor almost on it, which I think is kind of nice. But, um... Yeah, just a really nice card. I really like this. I really like these cards. Um, and then that's it. That's all the special Diagos I have. I have no Diago GX in anywhere in my collection. Um, and I was looking through some of the, the, the Diago G e e EX cards that are out there. Oh my god, one of them is like a card that I remember extremely well. It's like that silver um from Plasma Blast. No, is it Plasma Blast? Phantom Forces, I think it is. Um uh Phantom Forces, I believe it is. Um, yeah, it's a secret rare from Fan Phantom Forces. It's like a completely silver uh, Diago. I remember that Diago extremely well. Phantom Forces actually has two of them. And then Pas Plasma Blast has two really good um, Diago EX cards. And I will be purchasing one of them. So this is the uh, Diago. Um, occasionally, I didn't know this very well but diago actually comes in a actual dragon type which is, i think is pretty cool so this is a uh, from single strike um so it's one of the the sword and shield sets uh, maybe battle stalls or something i don't know i can't remember all the, the set things but pretty cool uh and then we do get just a nice regular diago i believe this is from the sunny moon era if i'm not mistaken and another one there i think this is from sword and shield um sets as well so pretty cool again i don't actually have that many uh dialga cards and um i was pretty surprised um i thought i had a little bit more but actually i actually do have um a plushie of dialga so um one of my friends um was asking me i guess he was trying to get me a plushie from some legendary pokemon and um um 
Yeah. And I told him my favorite legendaries are Rushroom and Zekrom or Yelta, for example, because those are ones I remember really well. Uh, Black and White is like the first real set that I remember when they came out, like the original sets. Uh, so I remember Rushroom and Zekrom extremely well. And um, Yelta's always been one of my favorites because, again, X and Y was huge because I remember when X and Y came out. So I remember those really well. Uh, but Diago is definitely one of my, like, I guess, lesser known legendary Pokemon. Again, I'm going by, I'm pretty sure it's a legendary Pokemon, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but I do have a plushie here. It's really cute. It's really well made. Um, I, I don't know. I think it's it's really well made. Just a nice uh, plushie that he ended up giving me. So it's kind of weird. I have plushies. I have a, I don't have a crazy amount of Pokemon plushies. Um, I don't know what this is, what company this is, but maybe you guys do. I'm not entirely sure, but it's a really nice one. I, and I keep this one kind of not even like near me. I kind of keep it in my closet stored away because it's so nice. I, I really like it. It's really cute looking. It's really high quality, but it's got like pretty frail pieces. I think sections that can be like torn or ripped off really easily. And he's just kind of cool. So yeah. So, and while looking, I, again, when I looked at some of the when I wanted to look at for the algo cards, I wanted to again look for an EX card. So um, you guys know one of my goals eventually is to just have all EX cards ever released. Uh, that means that some cards are gonna be like eighty nine fucking dollars or two hundred dollars if we're trying to get them not completely shit. Um, so I looked for a Diago EX. Uh, these are my four options. The four options of EX cards that came out for Diago. Honestly. I would like this card, but it's too expensive for me to put down on a single card out of the whim. And I want this to be kind of part of the series, um, even though this is a really nice card. I like this EX card, but I thought I do really like this one. I actually remember this one extremely well when I was younger. I remember this Diago watching people opening it up. I mean, I remember this one the most because I remember that one so vividly. But $18, again, it's still extremely pricey. I don't have that type of money right now. And again, it's kind of a... I'm going to be doing this maybe once a week so buying like one single card i want to keep it under the five dollar mark around there like under the, I, I think under the ten dollar mark because then i can get pretty expensive pretty fast um i don't pay attention to anything else so i ended up going with this one it's an ex card it's uh not the most expensive it is a dialga it is plasma blast which you guys know how much i actually like uh the plasma uh, uh team stuff which um and I like Dragon type uh, EX cards, so I thought it was the perfect one. I'll be buying one in the lightly played condition. I don't feel like doing the near mint. I don't think it's worth it. It's about seven dollars. So I'm be purchasing this card um, literally right after this video. I'm gonna be adding my information into this stuff. And uh, oh, don't, don't, don't worry. Because uh, <laughs> like, what the hell is he watching? Uh, I recommend watching. Um, don't 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 worry about this but i recommend watching this video if you guys are interested this guy's got like a, a really funny um uh series where he beat plant vs zombies 2 with only nuts i love plant vs zombies and plant vs zombies 2 as you guys can see uh i have an absolute uh disheveled uh, brain here you know ipad kid and i never had a, i think i did actually have an ipad but i never used it like that uh but i'm i'm one of those people who needs to watch something while they while they eat so that's just the video i've been watching recently <laughs> recommend it it's pretty good i recommend it it's a, a pretty good series actually uh he ended up making like a, a full video of all the entire season just a, a single like view and i just started watching that last night before i fell asleep but uh, this is the card i'm gonna be purchasing uh let me know what pokemon you guys want me to do next i will be again the whole point is to try to get you guys involved Shout out your favorite Pokemon down in the comments. Again, someone, uh, thank you to Luca Aragon to uh, commenting uh, Diago, uh, any cool Diago cards. So again, let me know in the comments any specific Pokemon you guys want me to uh, look at. I will do my best to try to do a video. I think this was like a, pretty much the cutoff of being able to do one. Oh, almost forgot here. I do have a pin of Diago. And the only reason I know is because it's sitting right next to me. And I'm trying to grab it. I'm trying to grab it. And this, I do actually have a, a nice little pin for Diago, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> I actually don't like this pin very much because it, it, I don't think it represents him very well, but I do have a pin of him. So, yeah, you understand how this series goes. You pick a Pokemon. I try to get all the cards that I have from that specific Pokemon, show you guys what that is, kind of show you guys part of my collection. You guys are able to talk about what your favorite Pokemon is about. I think it's a pretty good series. Uh, and actually, at the end, I'm going to be purchasing one single card of that Pokemon. Um... 
I ended up actually purchasing like one or two more Lucario cards after I uh, uploaded that video. And we'll do a whole video on that. I think I talked about it in one of my recent videos as well. Like that whole lot of stuff. Oops, I spoiled some stuff, but uh, you, you, there you go. But yeah, um, I'm excited for this series. I, I like it. I think adding this also um, means I'm going to spend more money. But um, it also means I get to expand my collection. I get to, I guess, fill holes in my collection. And this is perfect. Being able to just fill a hole. Add a single card. I, I've made it a rule that I won't be looking through at the other person's, like the rest of the person's store. I'm just buying that specific card and that's it. Uh, sometimes that means I'm going to go for a little bit more expensive card. It depends on what I'm doing financially. I'm doing eh. I just sold two stuff on BrickLink, like over $100. I think like over $150, just those two items. So I'm pretty, pretty good for right now. Uh, but, um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out everything else down in the description. Again, comment down any Pokemon you guys want to see here on the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys.